All right, everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is a bit different. So, in this video, I have prepared something. Let's like this video is five and a half, and I am trying to break Minecraft. Let's get started now. I have a pocket edition, so you can already tell. why I'm doing this for my to my world is because you know I hate this place I guess I love this place but I hate this place why I don't know it is super fast super super fast the stone clock as much as I remember this is how we make it and I'm not even sure if it is a clock because you know it's just simply reducing the power of the block it's not working like how the stone clock should work so it's not a clock I'm sure so it should work Let's test it if it is working. Put my trusty little trident in there. Turn it on. And let's see if it works. So it works. It shoot the trident out. I thought it works at least. It only activates once and then it is just done. It's like I'm not running one again. I'm not doing that. I don't have time for that kind of work. Here it is. Okay, it does not work actually. So I said there is nothing special actually. Hey, this clock didn't work. So I tried doing it other way. So I'm breaking Minecraft and I have done it twice. And I'm not afraid to do it again. You can see. I want my game to be fully frozen until chickens freeze my game. <laughs> chickens freeze my game. Ah, because I'm using dispenser, it's a bit more of a random way of getting out. But you know what it is working. And if it is working, it's good. It's good to go if it's working. It works, it's good. It does not work, it's not good. So, if it is working, it is good. And with that idea in mind, I'm just letting it run for a while, like a few minutes or so. A few more seconds, I guess. After that, I'll turn it off quickly because, you know, I want my world to be gone forever. Like, you can see the resistance getting slower. So, I just remove it. There are a lot of chicken in here. It could have been more than this much, but I don't think we need that many of chickens. I think this small amount is more than enough to crash my game. Look at this. They are literally stuck in corners. And not even moving. I could say the way they should at least move. No, they are not even moving. 
I thought it would be fun, like they will explode everywhere, but no, it didn't work out that well. So, I'm going to do something different because you know, entity movement is not the thing that can crash Minecraft for me. So, yeah, I'm going to do something completely different from that. It is going to be teleporting all chicken back in here, first thing first, priorities, and then. Oh, that one has a name. Okay, there are more than the chicken that I spawned. That's different. That's nice, actually. That's nice. Because, you know, it's better to have more chickens. The more chickens, the better chickens. Right? The more is the merrier. It's only for the amount of chicken. Not for anything else, because, you know, Wait, too many of anything is bad. Even chickens is bad for your game. Way too many chickens might result in a crash in your game. So yeah. The more that's not always the Mario. But I am going to summon something completely different from what a chicken is. It's a lightning bolt. And if it crashes my game, which I know it is going to do, uh, I'll rejoin and see how much damage it has done because I really want to know how much damage it has done to the game because you know in a game made of cubes you cannot really see that this is a circle shaped I mean actually my game is white screen and black screen and there you have it I just trimmed out the extra part because you know too much video I don't want it to see that one part, that much of the video part, so I am not showing you that part. But yeah, it took a while to start again, but after the while, the video, the game is actually started up one more time and I'm loading up my world again to see if it works. And I'm pretty sure it works. Because so you can see it works you can see all the chickens have turned into pork chicken, I'm pretty sure. Let's turn it on one more time. And then we'll see how it turns out to be. Well, you are able to see what I'm doing at this point. I have made it a the stone clock one more time. Turn it on. A little impulse of power is all it needs. And there you have it. More chickens coming in because you know the last time it crashed my game, so let's try it again and this time see if it won't crash. I'll go for a bit less amount of chickens from the last time to be honest. So so that it might work. And just for that reason, I'm going to try it. But this to our blessing, I'm spawning half of the chicken and the other half are going to be spawned by commands. Because it makes the work easier. Like a lot easier than what it should be. It will not take half the time than it would have taken summon them manually and if something the chicken breaks my game I'll end the video because you know game is broken 